We've had Steve from Saving Wildlife International. He's bringing, we brought so many cool animals. Um, good one today. See them all. This so, is Macho. Oh, hey, Macho. And he is a spider monkey. Probably one of the coolest animal tails out there. So it's like a fifth limb, super strong, almost like a <laughs> octopus tentacle. What? That thing is and crazy. has a tail print right on the end. Can I feel it? Yeah, check it okay. out. Okay. Oh yeah, whoa, that is not at super, all what I expected. Super grippy, yeah, huh? Yeah, really weird. Pretty awesome, huh, Macho? Yeah, where is he from? Central and South America. Okay, where is he his hair done? Uh, that'd be by, uh, Hair by Jansen. <laughs> hair by Jansen. He looks like all of the, uh, TikTok guys. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, okay, does he like bananas? I have a banana. Well, Do you think? I mean, I don't try. know. He just had a snack, but let's give it okay. a try. He might, he Here, might be we'll dead. Okay, we'll see if he'll... Snack. Oh, oh, okay, good that boy. was an automatic yes. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, what other kind of things does he love to eat? He, anything expensive. Mangoes, <laughs> papayas, <laughs> blueberries, expensive. avocados, okay. all that good stuff that we should be eating. Do you want a tiny bit more? There you go. Okay, and then, so you're holding him and I'm not. You really have to have a relationship with these guys. Totally. So, um, you know. But is there a male and female dynamic when that goes for into sure. that as well? For sure, yeah. Absolutely. So monkeys, you know, typically... It's a macho for a reason. <laughs> exactly. Let's see if we can put him down for a minute and see what he does. Come on down, macho. Show us your tall legs. He goes, mm, no. He's like, that's my banana. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, I can see how he, he goes might also be liking the ground because it's a little cooler. Oh, very true, very true. He's posing oh for you. Yeah, he is saying, this is my good angle. Oh my goodness. This is so great. Love it. Good job, That's Macho Man. He's the cutest. Okay, I've got two more little pieces. Do you want to stand up for him after you're done with that one? He's contemplating life right now. I right get now. it. I mean, Macho, I get stand it. up. Stand up, buddy. <laughs> Go deeper <laughs> into the ground. Do you want a banana? Have a banana. Here. There you go. Banana. Look at him walking. Oh my gosh. Okay, the cutest thing. Macho, you want this last banana, buddy? You want this banana? Okay, Steve, you've got more cool animals for him, right? For sure. Okay, let's go see him. This is Roland. He is a three-banded armadillo. You can see from his one, two, threes. Um, so he is related to the anteater, which you can also see his cute little nose in there. But while we got him close, he also is related to the sloth. So you can see right in there. So he'll eat termites. He'll be able to um, dig really, really deep and get ants and all kinds of different things. So it's pretty functional, honestly. And then let me see. We'll see if he can close. Oh, he doesn't want to close up. Can I have him back? Can I have my hand back? He says no. But when he closes up, he's got his little helmet right there that'll, yeah, now he wants to close up just like that. He's good to go. Let me show you a couple more things. Okay, so this guy is called an American mink and he is just so cute and so soft. Um, so he was uh, saved from a fur farm actually. Um, so that's why he's got that beautiful coloration um, of fur is because it's a highly desirable, but not necessarily because their fur is supposed to stay on their body and not on other people's bodies. Um, but he is just the most playful little guy ever. This guy is called a hedgehog tenrec. So he's actually not related to the hedgehog at all. Um, it was, Kind of ridiculous that it's got his name, but a um, couple cool things about him. He's got a really, really, really soft belly. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe it might even be able to help see if feel insects out or something. But he's also got modified hairs up on top that will poke out. Um, he's got he's nocturnal, so you can see from his eyes and his big old ears that he sees and he smells really well. Um, he also is pretty good and agile where he's able to, he's got nice claws to be able to hold on. Um, he also loves worms. When he goes to grab them, he gets so excited and moves all around, um, where you definitely don't want to get in the way of that, that's for sure. But he is just the cutest little thing. And his little nose never stops going. He's always looking around.